Hey everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. Ah, my goodness, it's been a while since I've been here. Um, just going to put something together. I got all the pieces cut and I'm just going to put it together uh, a little bit. There's no decorating um, that I'll be doing tonight. There's a band I have to make, but because I don't know how fat I'm going to make it. Um, yeah. So that'll, that'll come in another video. Didn't want to take too, too long tonight. Uh, it's late for me, but I did want to let you guys know that um, right after my last video, uh, as a matter of fact, um, like the next day, uh, I started getting what I thought was cold. And uh, it really wasn't that bad. Um, and on Wednesday, I, I went to work. I went to work on Monday. I went to work on Tuesday. Now, I was inoculated, and we were wearing our masks and stuff. But nonetheless, I ended up with COVID. I had a mild temperature on Wednesday. I took myself down to the emergency room, and the doctor was surprised, and so was I, when the test came back that I was positive. So, of course, I had to be out of work at the busiest time of year for 10 days. Um, a couple of other guys at our center uh, also contracted it, though they were asymptomatic. Um, my brother-in-law, who lives with us, my husband got um, tests from the health department, and... Um, he also tested positive, and neither one of us really had anything much more than a cold. However, I started getting sicker near the end. I got nauseous, and I couldn't eat or drink for a couple or three days, um, hardly at all. I couldn't eat at all, and I barely could get any water down. And I called the doctor, and they gave me some medication for nausea, but it wasn't working after a day and a half. and. I expected it to be working and I seemed to be getting worse. So I called my husband home from work, poor thing, was running back and forth trying to take care of work and, um, and take care of me. Took me to the hospital. They admitted me in the hospital. I was suffering from severe dehydration and my kidneys started to shut down. So I was there for a couple of days. I got out. I had one day's rest and I was back at work for 15 days straight. Uh, because it was Christmas week and then New Year's uh, week and I just had to be there though it took me about 10 days to um, to get better uh, before I could really uh, before I was really feeling well enough um, my sleep was giving me issues I was tossing and turning I you know it was just yeah so it's been a ride <laughs> So now that New Year's is over and things are coming down and I'm trying to catch up at work, which I normally do in December, but not with being out so much. Um, so there was a lot to do. So I just wanted to get a little video up and get my toes back in the water, as it were. So um, we're going to just put this thing together. This is one of those trifoldy thingies. You'll see it in a minute as I as I glue all this stuff on. I cut all the pieces already and I'll tell you as I go kind of what I think my plan is going to be. Um, this was my hole where it split, my, my jar split. I don't know if that happens for anybody else but a lot of glue came out and I hit it with uh, some paper towel and so far it's not leaking so I'm gonna leave that alone. So anyway um, so I, I saw this on Pinterest. I can't really remember who it was. Um, I, I know a lot of people have done, it's really meant to be a card, I think, um, you know, for card making, but I believe I've seen Angela Kerr do it. I have seen a couple of other people do it. Um, you know, different variations of it. So I'm going to do my variation of it um, and we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> I know what's in my head. Um, I just don't know how it's going to turn out. So we'll just have to see. I'm not sure all of what it is I'm going to actually do. So I'm gluing this down because my plan is... Let me find my bone folder here because I've got another project 
Oh my goodness. If you could see this desk, I mean, I know you all think you have really messy areas, but oh my goodness. Ah, one of these days. I've got all the stuff to organize everything, and mostly I can't find it in the mess. So, yeah, this is going to be fun as the quieter months come until Easter. Um, I have to catch everything up. But anyway, so what my plan is, and this was actually um, part of the other card, where the card that I was taking it from, where they actually cut this out like this and made a flap. I'm going to make it more like a picture frame and make a flap. I'm not sure how we're gonna open it yet, so that's one of the things I have to figure out. Um, but then I'm going to leave this top open and I'm going to make it so that you can put a tag in it. I'm going to glue it on the page this way, I got fuzzy on my hand, this way on the three sides, and then there'll be another tag behind it, another pocket behind it. I believe, and this is going to go on the front, and I've had issues tonight trying to decide which way is up, right side up. This is going to go on the front. Um, I'm going to cut it out. There's going to be some paper lace up here. And I think on the frame itself, I'm going to put a small belly band where you could put another tag. Um, making this in a color and a pattern um, where you can actually write on it if you wanted to. So that's what we're gonna put on next. And then we have the ones that'll go on the front. Um, and then I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do. I'm not sure, so we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, so that'll be a, a pocket here, and then when you put it on the page, there'll be a pocket there as well. So there'll be at least three tags um, on it, one s slightly larger at the back, one smaller that fits inside the frame, and then the small one that will be on the belly band on the front. And when you lift the flap, I think, think, I'm just going to put some uh, tea dyed paper. See, I put a tea at the top so <laughs> I could tell which way it went because I kept turning it upside down. I was cutting them upside down, the pieces. This didn't matter, but the ones with the slanty tops, that mattered. I, I did the first um, three. I didn't cut them. I just drew the lines on the paper, you know, measured out the lines on the paper. <laughs> I looked at it and I'm like, I think that's upside down. So, yeah, so I had to erase that and start over. So um, I'm going to take this out from underneath here and put this one. And this may be a smidge bigger than I need. I'm just trying to measure. And I, I did all this cutting and particularly the cutting and the inking uh, before I came on camera because um, I do, you know, have trouble with my eye and I, looking down, straight down at things, my depth perception is, is very off. So I usually have to tilt my head and, and turn things to, to see uh, where I am. So I'm cutting things straight and doing things straight. So it slows me down a little bit. Um, and it's kind of tedious anyway to do all of this on camera, even if you're fast. Um, okay, that doesn't look bad, but I'm going to see if I could just get my, nope, I can tell I'm not going to get my knife along the edge there. And this, stupid me, I laid it on top of my ink pad because I wasn't thinking. All right, so let me try to cut this little bit with my scissors. I can feel the edge of the card. I can see it, but I'm not exactly sure <laughs> depth perception wise what I'm what I'm looking at. So I'm trying to just feel my edge, my uh, way along the edge of the card here. Uh, it was wider at the bottom than at the top the piece. So I figured you know better to be a little bigger and trim it down than to be too small because I wanted this to cover the whole piece. Okay, so 
So that's that now. And what I'm going to do is I have this um, paper lace. These are die cuts. I believe they're Tim Holtz uh, die cuts. And um, they're really, really pretty, and I love them. And I just did it on a uh, very, well, here. Uh, I think that's easier for you to see. A uh, cream color card. And then I took my Victorian rose and just sort of went over the edges and kind of left it not really covered in the middle because I kind of like the way that looked. So I have to feel because I can't see that. Uh, it's not quite in the middle. Okay. I'm going to mark where I want to cut this, which would be here and here, which I'll, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to want to do that, but I'm going to try to get it straight. Um, actually, what I can do, let me try to put that back. I can, actually, I keep saying actually, don't I? Okay. I'm going to try not to do that. Um, all right, let me get this where I can see the lines that I just drew. Okay, I must hate to cut any of this away. It's so darn pretty. Okay, and I'm going to, what I think I'll do is I'll just move this down. Try to make that even. I'm hoping you don't have to see my head in this picture. <laughs> okay, that's good. Let me get that where I can see the lines. See, that doesn't look straight to me. I don't know if it is or not. Let's see. Sometimes I make a lot of mistakes. Now it's pretty straight. Okay, okay. All right, so I am going to put, and I'm going to need a, uh, I'm going to need a newer one than this. Let me go down here and dig one out. Uh, here we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this one on because I want this on because I want to use it as a guide for where, um, I'm going to cut up two with the frame. Probably what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of paper um, or a piece of uh, card or something and then just trace my, my piece around it so it's easier for me to do that. So I'm going to do that. So let's try to get some of this on here. Now I have found, because this is like impossible to try to really put glue on, uh, something like this and sometimes you know and doilies are kind of the same thing um, so for me what I found is I press it down with one of the wipes now the drier ones I think work better however the one I just pulled out is not dry <laughs> except for on the very top so I have to be careful I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing because I have to turn it this way and a little bit from the top is okay. I just want to make sure we're straight. Okay, give me my dry end, which is right here. And I just press, and if you don't, if you get a decent, I don't know what these are, I'll have to pull them out, but I did have Huggies. Um, they're very linty, and um, it it would leave a lot of lint behind because of the glue. But I do this with my lace. I do this with my doilies, um, and now I'm I'm obviously going to do it uh, with this as well because it presses it all down nice. It takes out all the glue from in in the holes, at least for the most part, I think. And doesn't leave any lint behind. So it works really, really nice. Really, really nicely. Okay. So in the meantime, let's get these guys on. 
like I said, I chose this one so that I can, nope, that's not the ones. These go to this one. That's on the inside there. And these go to this one. Okay. Okay. I think I've got these mixed up. All right. Let me do. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> what did I do? Here we go. You, 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 you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Let's get going now. So anyhow, um, the beginning of my staying home uh, with COVID, I was binge watching Hallmark movies because honestly, I wasn't feeling bad um, or badly. I suppose I should speak with better grammar, shouldn't I? But um, I really wasn't feeling that badly. Uh, after about a day and a half in bed, I told my husband, I said, I've got to get out of this bed. I can't. My back is killing me. My, you know, my butt was killing me. I'm like, I got to get out of this bed. So I got my pillows and my blankets and whatever, and I made myself comfortable um, out in the living room. And I was just binge watching um, Hallmark movies <laughs> is what I was doing. Um, so, yeah. So lots of Hallmark movies and it was so funny because every now and then my husband would, you know, he would come home and he'd sit and he'd watch for a few minutes with me and a lot of times he was watching at the end um, of the show, at the end of the movie. I just want to keep checking because my phone's kind of full and I don't want this to shut off. Um, and I told him, I said, you know, with the Hallmark movies, I said, um, they always have their first kiss at the end of the movie and it's always snowing. So in a couple of movies, he was like, they're inside. And I was like, just wait. And then they'd show you, you know, out the window, it was snowing. <laughs> He's like, so that's how it's supposed to work. Huh? I said, well, I guess so. So, but anyway, so we watched a whole bunch of Hallmark movies. I did lose my sense of taste and smell. And I don't know if that had anything to do with it. It wasn't that I couldn't taste at all. I couldn't smell anything at all. But if you're hearing those noises, that's my dog upstairs. He's kind of arthritic and when he, he'll get up and move around a lot and then he plops down. He's like, he's a big Labrador and uh, he's getting older. He's going to be 14 in March and his hind legs are getting getting pretty bad so sometimes he doesn't walk very well and if he gets up and moves he just literally plops down and you know like half the house shakes <laughs> if you hear those noises that's what's happening so anyway I did lose um, all of my smell but I didn't lose all of my taste in that I could tell if something was sweet and I could tell if something was salty if it really wasn't particularly sweet or salty, I couldn't taste anything at all. But if I had, if you gave me a spoonful of jelly and I had my eyes closed and didn't look <laughs> at where you got it from, I could tell by the consistency that it was jelly, uh, but I couldn't tell you what flavor. I couldn't tell you if it was grape or strawberry or orange marmalade or whatever. I couldn't tell you. Um, what it was. Uh, same thing for something salty. If you gave me something with salt on it, I might be able to tell from how it felt in my mouth what it was, but I couldn't tell you, you know, what flavor it might have been. You know what I mean? If it had some kind of a flavor to it. Um, you know, I don't know. But anyway, it was more with the sugary kind of stuff, I guess. Okay, so that's that side so far. Now we're gonna do these on this side and cover up my mistake. So let's do that. Um, so anyway, I'm just, I'm really glad it's over. Um, because of the day that I went in, it was actually the day after my birthday, I was 
really sick on my birthday. Um, and uh, the next day was when my husband took me to the emergency room. Um, and uh, yeah, so I ended up, you know, staying in the hospital. I was supposed to, my quarantine was supposed to end on the 18th. And uh, <clears throat> so they had to put me in the COVID ward. Oh my goodness, if any of you out there have had COVID and ended up in the hospital, I don't know what your hospitals look like, but they look like they were preparing for like war or something. It was so much stuff just stacked in the hallways and stuff because they had to have supplies nearby. They couldn't go, you know, and get supplies because they really weren't supposed to be like wandering, I guess, around the hospital. So, or, or having other people just kind of come in, you know, into the, that particular ward or that particular wing. Um, but yeah, it was, I've been in the hospital before. I've had so many surgeries and, you know, over the years and stuff. And, um, yeah, I, I've never seen a hospital look like this. So uh, not that it was, you know, bad or disorganized or dirty in any way. It was just, you know, it just kind of looked like, you know, like they were preparing for a lot of stuff. And uh, I really have to commend the nurses and the doctors who are working in those wards because they really take their chances. I'll tell you, I don't know how they stay healthy. Oh, God bless them for what they do. But anyway, so I was in that ward and my, my roommate uh, was not affected. <laughs> stomach wise by the flu she was eating everything she could find um however she was 94 she was very hard of hearing and very uh i guess her most of her eyesight was kind of gone which i can sympathize with and um she had had her issues over the years as well um, but people were calling and she was talking on the phone and when I first went, the TV was on, and then I found her TV was on, and I don't watch TV really that much, so, um, you know, I, I didn't need it, nor did I want it, so at about 11 o'clock, I asked the nurse, uh, but in the interim, I had found out that she really couldn't see or hear it. Somebody must have put it on for her. She probably didn't even realize it was on, so, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but she, uh, that night, had a panic attack. She couldn't breathe, and she thought she couldn't breathe, and um, yeah, she was having some trouble. So I, would, I literally did not sleep the entire night um, because she would, she did sleep from time to time, but she talked in her sleep um, and had conversations <laughs> with somebody uh, as she was dreaming. So that made it kind of hard for me to sleep because she was talking when she was sleeping and then when she was awake, she would be coughing and calling for the nurse, calling for help from the nurse, and uh, which of course they can't hear. And she couldn't find her, her button, so I was calling for her. So, okay, so that's the one side. So then when you open it up, you have places to write here. You can journal on these pages. And then this is going to have that be that flap. So let's move this one to the side and we're going to work on this one. Let me just check and make sure I'm still going. I am. All right. And I'll, I do want to get this cut so that I can get it together. So let me, I'm, I'm hoping I can, uh, I can do that. This isn't going to be as short as I thought it would. Um, but anyway, uh, so that was my story there. So at 4.30 in the morning, when they came to take more blood from me, the doctor did come in uh, much later that morning and um, said that my numbers for my kidneys looked much better and he would allow me to go home if I felt I was able. And I was, I was very shaky, I'll tell you. They had given me a lot of um, steroids and I'm guessing that had uh, really caused me to, I mean, my entire body was shaking. I still really couldn't eat. I was getting uh, ginger ale down and some water, uh, which was good. 
And I honestly, I, I was praying. I was like, God, oh my goodness, please. I really need to go home to get some rest. Please let me get better. Don't let me be making a mistake by, you know, saying, yes, I'll go home. Um, and I did. I did get better every day. Uh, uh, there was, you know, a little change. Of course, when I came home that Saturday, I was really tired and slept most of the day because I hadn't slept the night before. But, um, yeah, I, uh, well, anyway, that's my big COVID saga. Um, my husband miraculously never got it. He got a head cold, um, but he had tested himself three times because uh, he's allowed to test because of uh, the health department giving him the training on what to do with the test so that we could test the people in our facility um, to make sure that if they were exhibiting any kind of symptoms, we would test and make sure that if there was an issue that they would be put in rooms uh, in, a, in a quarantine, uh, what we had a quarantine room with about eight beds, but we never had that many people in there. I think we had three. Um, so it really wasn't terrible, but between the three that we had in quarantine, two that had previously had it and they had been in the hospital, and myself and my um, brother-in-law, as far as the health department was concerned, that constituted a outbreak, an outbreak. So yeah, so that was exciting. <laughs> but thank God it is over. So we're, we're slowly coming back to normal again. So that's a, that's a good thing. But, so that was about it. That was my big month of December and the very beginning of January. Hasn't been all that exciting. But we are going to take a few days, uh, weekend of the 24th, actually... The 24th would be the Monday, but that is my husband's sister's birthday, and her daughter, my husband's niece, and his other sister, and a friend of his one sister, whose birthday it is, um, are planning a birthday party for her, surprise birthday party, and... Um, so we are going to be heading down into Connecticut. Well, actually, uh, the party is going to be in Connecticut because that's where she lives. But we are going to go to New Jersey and stay with my brother um, for a few days. And um, I'll get to see my son. I don't think I'm going to get to see the new baby. She's supposed to be born. Oh, I don't even know if I told you guys that. Did I tell you that? I don't know. Um, my one nephew, the, I have twin boy nephews. My brother's uh, sons are twin boys. He and his wife, uh, who already have a three-year-old, um, are having a little girl. So her name will be Francesca, and they're going to call her Frankie. And uh, so I'm very excited about that because I was the last girl <laughs> in our family. Um, as far as uh, being born, you know, my maiden name is Thornley. And uh, so the last Thornley girl was me 62 years ago. So, Francesca is going to be our next little girl. Um, our, the, my youngest niece right now uh, just turned 30. So, she's my sister's adopted daughter. And I have my brother's stepdaughter, who is, I believe, 26. So, so she's 26, I think. And... Um, my other niece just turned 30, so I guess my one niece in Colorado is younger still. So that is the youngest girl. We don't have any girl babies. So the two other babies that we have, my grandnephews, are nephews. They're little boys. So, and then we also found out 
that the other twin and his wife, whose little boy is going to be uh, two in March, they are also pregnant again. Um, I don't know the due date. Uh, my brother didn't say uh, when he told us, but I'm guessing somewhere around July. So, and I don't know what we, uh, he didn't, I don't know that they know what yet. So, um, if it's going to be a boy or a girl, so we shall see. But the babies are coming in my family, which is lovely. So I'll get to see some of them, hopefully, while we're down there in New Jersey. Definitely, of course, see my son, and uh, which is always the highlight of my life. And yeah, so I'm excited about that and we'll get a few days away, which will really be nice because the holidays, we're, what we do is, is very uh, labor intensive uh, to run the facility that we run because we don't have huge staff to do the things that we do. We don't really have secretaries, so we have to do all of that work ourselves and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So it, it takes a lot out of us. Okay, so here we have this. Oh my goodness, that's looking awfully pretty. I'm liking that. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do now. There's gonna be a band down here to help hold it closed. But I think what I was thinking was, let me see if I can find something here, I'll get something. This is from another, another uh, project I'm doing. <laughs> um, actually, this is for this project. So I was gonna put a uh, tag in here and I was gonna put a tag in here as well. Um, and then of course, the tag that will go in here, in, <laughs> in here, that, and then that piece will flip up, and then the tag behind. So one, two, three, four, and then the tag that's going, the tag that will go across here because I'm going to make a belly band, either this way or this way. I'm not sure which way at this point. Um, I'm thinking this way. I, I'm thinking I want to go across the stripes. We'll see. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can find, oh, what do I have? Something already big enough. <laughs> Look at that. It could be a little longer. What else do I have up here? I have longer, but it's narrower. What else do I have up here? Yeah, I don't want to cut that down. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I like that a little way away. So I'm just going to go down here with this and here, oh, I got a fuzzy on me. And here with this up to here got glue all over me. Good heavens. Okay. And then I'm going to just pull this down a little bit further and try to make sure. Yeah, I like that. Hopefully this is, oh, it's not straight. I can see it's not straight. Let me just, okay, good. All right. And then I'll come here and here. And, whoops, here, I know it'll be straight. Okay, and what I wanna do here is I just wanna make a little line so I know not to cut past that. Now let's hope I don't screw this up, guys. No mistakes, can't find my small ruler. Here it is, yes, yes, okay. Actually, let me get the little, little guy little little easier to use okay oh I know what else is exciting well at least to me anyway <laughs> um, I had gotten some um, 
gift cards uh, from someone um, for Michael's. So I bought myself, which I would show you. Um, I'll have to show you in my in my next video. Um, I think I had gotten go right there some spice jars because I wanted and I bought um, well actually I bought the spice jars from Amazon um, but I wanted I had bought with Michaels I had bought I bought this which was the distress collage medium crazing which I'm looking forward to doing a long while ago I had bought this mold which I don't know where the cover is, and I don't know how well you can see that. It's birds and then like apple blossom uh, branches. So I had some um, air dry clay. So I did this one just to see if it would work, and it came out really pretty. Let me stand up and see if you can see the detail on that. It's really beautiful. I just tried the one spot. Um, you know, just the one thing to see if this would actually work. And I think it did. Now, I have to see if I can paint it. <laughs> and I have to do all the rest of it because these two are going, I hope, on the front of um, this cover for this album. Um, and this is one that I owe. I owe several out. So I'm trying to, I'm praying that nothing else will make me sick. And, uh, I will get all of this done. That is my hope. Oh my goodness, I just cut right along the bottom. And again. So I am going to have to do something to fix that. So you know what that means, right? Because I cut this. So now I have to put something across the back to seal it and then put something across the front. I may have just found what I'm going to do to open the flap. So let me go here. Oops, a little high there, but that's okay, I think. Get back in here. Okay, what I want to do here. I am going to do, 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 do. Let me take some of this because I want to try to get a little something on the back here so that I can glue this down. Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm not gluing the, the flap just want to kind of pull that in make sure that it stays together okay and I'm just gonna cut I think a little piece of this I just happen to have some tracing paper right here so I will use that to patch this Okay, get this, I don't mind getting it more glued, that will be fine, rub all that glue off, okay, let's get that out, I have a little tail right there, okay, alright, so that patched that right there. And here we go. And I do have a little bit hanging over here. So let me trim that off. Okay. Okay, good. All right, now this, I have to go back and erase my pencil marks, but 
I want to get this straight here. Wow, I didn't realize how loud my furnace was <laughs> till it just shut off. Okay, and then I will. I just want to do a little scoring here. And that will bring this up. Okay. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to cover this back, which I'm not going to do right now. But I think I'm going to just, I'm going to ink and I'm going to cover it with some, um, what I just had, some tea stain paper and just ink around that. And that'll be that. And then we'll put the belly band on there. And this is going to go here. And what I'm going to do behind here is I have some acetate, which I'm not going to take the time to do now, but I'll put some acetate in here. This flips up. We'll have a belly band here, a tag there, place for writing there. This tag will go in there, another one back here. And when we fold this all back down, then we get a tag here and a tag here as well. So I think that's going to be that. So where am I with this? Okay, there is um, something else I wanted to show you because I thought of it. Let me grab it. It's back here behind me. I had mentioned, um, I keep this so, <laughs> so sealed up. But I had mentioned um, in one of my videos, I think, about my son's costumes uh, that I would sew. And I had talked about when I had made him a pirate and made him this jacket. So let me, this is tiny now. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Sorry about the all wacky stuff going on. But this was, you could tell how old this is. Look at this thing is yellow, an Oshkosh uh, kid's hanger from when he was little. But this is the velvet jacket that I had made him. So I'm just going to kind of do this and pull it up so you can see it. I have brass buttons up here. He's got these flipped up cuffs with the brass buttons on it, and there's one on the other side over here. And then when you open it up, this is how I made the button loops. I'm looking in my camera to see what I can see here. The whole inside was lined with this jacquard, and I made um, shoulder pads for him, and, uh, then at the back, because he was only a year and a half old, not even a year and four months, this is the back. So I have the braiding going up here, and I made this little pleat because he still was wearing diapers. So he had kind of a little chubby butt going on there. So, <laughs> so I had to give him a little room for that. But anyway, this was his, um, this was his velvet jacket. Uh, that I had made him for his pirate costume. And he had a tricorn hat, and he had the black knickers and white stockings, and yeah. So I even, uh, I think I think I made him a belt with a sword as well. I'm not sure. But anyway, this doesn't fit him anymore. Uh, he's 33, almost 33 years old now, and he's six foot five. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, this was, I think I had mentioned, I just took for, to start with the size, I just took one of his t-shirts and uh, I started with that and then I just, I went, I built the pattern for this around that and uh, yeah, so I don't so like this anymore and I'm not sure that I can <laughs> so very much anymore. I'm just going to put this over to the side. We'll find out. Um, when I start sewing some of the other stuff, but it may be a little bit harder for me to sew some uh, garments anymore, but we'll see. So anyway, so this is where we are with this, and uh, we will get back to this in another video. So 
in the meantime guys it's nice to be back <laughs> and uh, oh my goodness let me bring this down I don't know what you've been seeing all the dirt on my floor probably you poor things um, but uh, in the meantime uh, just continue to be safe I pray you all uh, will be safe and uh, healthy I pray that this will be a better new year for all of us and uh, yeah lots of crafting lots of friends lots of family lots of love and lots of health so in the meantime guys be safe be happy be blessed and i will see you in the next video bye bye for now